it's Lauren here and today I'm doing a makeup tutorial for you guys just because um, y'all have been requesting like makeup tutorials and what's my everyday makeup and today's look is going to be this really natural glowy bronzy look um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it so let's just get started. So right now I do have eyelashes on and if you guys are wondering what eyelashes they are these are the My Lash Fox Mink Lashes. So they're not real mink lashes, but they are just as pretty. I have them in classic and also in natural. And as you can tell, I already used the natural ones are on my face right now. And they have a nice lash band. So it's not one of those like really weird like clear ones that like show when you have it on your lashes. These are just the black lash bands, which I really like, and I am a big fan of these. Um, the, I picked these up at Marshalls, and they were about $6, so I definitely recommend them. It took me like 10 minutes to um, focus this camera, so hopefully, like manually focus it. So hopefully it's in focus, but let's just get started. So what I already did was prime my face with this rose hip facial oil. I already primed it. Um, and I just put this on, rubbed it on my face, let it absorb for like around three minutes. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started with some of the products. So what I'm going to first use this in here is this foundation. It's the Tarte. So it is the voiceover Lauren here and what I was trying to say was the Rainforest of the Sea foundation. I have no idea why I was trying to say Tartiste or something. I'm just, I have it in this like little uh, contact lens case because the actual bottle like broke since I have tile bathroom flooring. So what I'm going to do is just apply right under the eyes and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. So once I applied it, I'm just going to use my finger and really blend this out. I like using my finger um, before the sponge just so everything is evenly distributed and it won't look cakey. I'm trying so hard not to get this on my lashes, like I just do not, oh and there it goes. I love using this product because after I take it off at the end of the day, my skin is a lot smoother than it was in the beginning. Since this is a light makeup, I'm just gonna use that foundation as a concealer because it actually has really nice coverage and I only need it to smooth out my skin. I really don't have dark circles because girl, in the summertime, I sleep over 12 hours and the dark circles are just gone, which is so great. But for school, girl, I'll pack on the concealer because I only get like four hours of sleep. I keep poking my eye out like what is wrong with me so the next thing I'm gonna do is these brows because girl they are looking a little bit sparse so I'm just gonna be taking my Anastasia dip brown in the color soft brown and then I'm gonna be taking my clean color eyebrow like angled brush and I'm gonna do my eyebrows and for this I am just gonna do I'm gonna zoom up for you guys but for this I'm just gonna be doing just the ends of my brows because I don't like the look of my brows completely filled in I just like to extend the ends because my natural eyebrows are just a little bit short And I'm gonna go ahead and do the next brow. Okay, girls and guys, I am done with my eyebrow, filling them in. Now I'm gonna take my Ready Set Brow from By Benefit. I pretty much wear this whenever I do my brows. So after I'm done with my brows, the foundation has set in already. So I'm just gonna be using my Airspun Loose face powder. I love this stuff. It's a drugstore transparent powder and it's literally like one of the best drugstore powders that I've used. Okay, so once I applied the powder, 
I'm just going to contour. So I'm gonna be using my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And it's just a super pretty um, matte bronzer color. And I'm just gonna be using my Wet n Wild um, brush. So I'm just gonna dab it in some of the products. Tap it off. And then I'm just gonna go right in and chisel out those cheekbones. And I'm just really blending it into the skin and buffing it out. Okay, so the next thing I'm doing is putting on this e.l.f. baked bronzer. And this is how I'm going to bronze my face. I love this bronzer. It's like really nice. And for only $2, it is a complete steal. So I'm just going to swirl it in the product and then I'm just going to bronze up the face. So I'm just bringing that bronzer up to the high points on my cheeks, but not completely. Just so you can see that bronzy glow. Sometimes I don't blow or tap my brush on and then like a glob of the product goes on my face and like I'm sitting here trying to blend it out like crazy. Yes, I love bronzy glow makeup looks. They're so gorgeous, especially for the summer. I just feel like a glow goddess. So once I got my face all bronzed, I'm just gonna take my favorite blush and this is in the color uh, Spiced Plum, I'm pretty sure. Yep, and it's the, Mayb uh, the not the Maybelline, girl. Stop mixing up your products. It's in the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Blush um, Series things, I think, I don't know. So we're just gonna apply this. Let me just tap it off. Oh yeah, and I'm using my MAC 1, 2, 3, 8, something. Literally, like, it's it's rubbed off, but since I use this brush so much, so sorry about that. Oh, pigments. I certainly forgot to contour my nose. So I'm just gonna go back with the Hula Bronzer. I'm just gonna use my finger, just dip it in there. And then I'm just going to apply some to my nose so it gives it that contour look. Y'all looking back, I definitely covered up me trying to do this with my Mira, so I'm sorry. Girl, this is a nose job. This is a nose job, okay. So I'm just gonna be taking this little um, super fluffy uh, blending brush, yeah. It's the e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. And then I'm just gonna go in and kind of blend out that contour. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is highlight. So I'm using the Who's That Pearl Featherweight Finish Ultra Blendable um, Wet n Wild Cushion Highlight Illuminator. Ugh, that was so much to say. Um, I love this. It is so good for how much it was. I think this was like $6, but it's one of my favorite cream highlighters. It looks so natural. So I'm just going to apply some on my cheeks. And I'm just going to blend it out with a different finger. And it just gives you that little subtle glow that looks just so gorgeous in photos. Or if you're out in the sun, it's like not like... It's like you're not blinding people, but you kind of are. Like, you you know that feel? Like, you know? So, the next thing I'm going to do is take a little brush. There's another Wet n Wild brush. And I'm going to take that same cream highlighter and just literally, like, kind of bounce the brush in the cushion. And then I'm going to apply some of that highlighter right under the brow. Okay, girl. What did I do? It's literally a white mark. I mean, you can never go wrong with too much highlighter. So the last thing I'm gonna do for this really simple makeup look is take the highlighter once again, and I'm using this little shader brush from Ulta that I had for a while, but I use this brush like literally all the time for every makeup look. And I'm just gonna put some of that cream highlighter in my inner corner just to brighten it up. Um. So some days I do use some of that e.l.f. baked bronzer and I put it in my eye. Um, I feel like I kind of want to do that, so I might go back in and do that real quickly. So I'm just going to take this brush and I'm just going to dip it in the bronzer. 
I'm just going to go ahead and put it on like the outer corners of my eye and just really blend it into the crease. And I'm just really going to use this bronzer and use it just on the whole lid so it just looks and gives it that pop of color. And then I'm just going to take another little brush. This is my Stila brush and the number five. I think these are the really old Stila brushes, but I still own them. I'm so committed to my little brushes. So I'm just gonna take some more of that bronzer and I'm just gonna put it right under the eye just to even out the colors between the top and the bottom. And I think that's pretty much it. Y'all, I was gonna end this video, but I literally forgot about my lips. So I'm just gonna take my Victoria Secrets. Um, velvet matte in the color perfection and I'm just gonna apply this to my lips I'm just gonna apply a little bit and then dab it with my finger And just really quickly, oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the Maybelline Master Fix setting spray, and I love this because it gives it this satin dewy finish that just looks so good. So. All right, girls and guys and boys and children and women and men. This is the finished natural glowy makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a big thumbs up. And if you want more makeup routines, just hook me up. And just like any makeup routines, really, because I'll try my best to like come up with new ones and different ones for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a big thumbs up. And I love you guys. Bye.